Hello and welcome to Western Perspective. This week on the program, coal has been the staple of Australia's energy industry, fueling homes and businesses across the country. But as Australia looks towards a future away from coal and more towards renewables, hydrogen has become a potential energy source for Western Australia. So is there hope for a renewable hydrogen industry in the state? We investigate if it could be the answer for the future of WA's energy sector. These power plants have been generating the electricity that's powering Australia. But now, a new source of energy could soon be developed in Western Australia. Hydrogen presents an excellent transition fuel for the state of Western Australia. Hydrogen energy has placed WA at the centre of the global renewable energy boom, with the potential development of the energy source by the state. That development could shape in WA the future of a new energy sector it can be a massive uh, game changer. Late in August, WA state government announced plans to develop renewable hydrogen as a new energy source at the state's Renewable Hydrogen Conference. Regional Development Minister Alana McTiernan says the production of hydrogen fuel is a first for the state. Uh, today is all about uh, a, a new industry for Western Australia, a new industry uh, that builds on many of our strengths, uh, a new industry uh, where we are going to be creating uh, renewable hydrogen. She says there are two main reasons for its development. We know uh, that our trading partners in uh, our trading partners in Japan and Korea, in particular, have said that they want to move uh, to a carbon-free energy source. We also see it as a great opportunity in regional Western Australia uh, to drive down power prices uh, for our own internal use, which is going to help us uh, drive uh, economic um, diversification uh, in the Pilbara and uh, and Midwest and the goldfields. Australia's chief scientist Dr Alan Finkel believes the technology has come a long way in the renewable energy sector and says WA is well equipped to produce the energy source for electricity supply and transport fuel. Hydrogen for energy, for transport and heating has been talked about literally for 50 years or more. But things have changed. We've developed new technologies to produce it more effectively. But why has it been favoured as a new energy form? Dr Finkel explains. It's absolutely clean. There are no emissions of carbon dioxide in the manufacturing through electrolysis of hydrogen. There are no particulate emissions. There are no sulfur oxides. There are no nitrogen oxides. It's as close to ideal as you could possibly imagine. Energy expert Dr James Eggleston says it's a significant shift with water and land available to produce it. It's a perfect transition away from emissions intensive um, LNG and gas exports, building on using those strengths from science, technology, engineering and mathematics to then uh, produce hydrogen instead. However, he says it will be more expensive than pure renewable energy. Yes. There is a processing cost for producing hydrogen and ostensibly because the hydrogen itself is created using renewable electricity. The state government has the support of companies including Woodside and countries Japan and Korea to produce hydrogen, but admits WA is behind other states in development. But they believe it can be produced as a successful alternative renewable energy source. We are a better place than any other state in Australia uh, to deliver uh, to these new markets and to deliver to uh, uh, a cheaper power to Western Australia. And that's all for this week's WP. We'll see you again next time. But for now, it's back to you, Ivan and Danielle. Nelson, thank you very much. This week's main news again. A driver found guilty of a horrific collision that fatally injured her friend passenger has been allowed to keep her license while she waits for her sentencing. Ministers believe the magistrate's judgment call was disappointing and that all drivers should take more care on our roads. And that's our weekly news and current affairs for all the latest happenings. You can visit our website and our Facebook page. From Danny and myself and the rest of the team until 8 o'clock next Sunday, a very good evening to you. Good night. Mm -hmm.